What's going on, good people? It's Iceberg. We're coming back at you. It's still Saturday. Have you taken your action yet? Are you executing on your plan? You made your plan, right? You wrote it out earlier this week. You got your materials, and right now you're executing your plan, right? That's what I'm doing. I could be watching football. Actually, I'm going to go get that. Y'all hold on. All right, we're back. So, have you started executing your plan yet? If your plan was like mine to plant a container garden, I kind of went through all of the steps that you need to take to do that. We wrote out our plan, or we talked about what a plan was on Monday. We explained the importance of it, the importance of writing out your plan, all of that. On Tuesday, we went step by step through how to make out your plan if you're gonna do like me and plant a container garden. So we went through getting the materials, what the materials are that you're gonna need. If you don't have any of these things, I went through everything that you would need, depending on your situation. Some of the stuff you may have already had. I'm gonna show you today how easy it is and how some of this stuff you probably already have around and you just haven't thought about it. So then on Wednesday, we went into um, preparing how you prepare for it and the importance of preparing for, you know, your upcoming activity, whatever it's going to be. We went through the preparation steps of getting all your materials. If you're doing something that's going to say be outdoor planting, uh, preparing your soil area, if that's necessary, going ahead and getting your seeds prepared, starting to germinate your seeds. I got my seeds here that, as you can see, they have a bunch of sprouts. These, there's some spinach here bunch of sprouts on those and these are some beets so bunch of sprouts on our seeds if you needed to do that that's part of your preparation phase right so you got your preparation done now it's just waiting for the perfect time to do your activity complete your task whatever it is we prepared this for the weekend that's what our plan was for it was a weekend plan so we made it to our weekend here now we're going to execute so I got my table set up here. I got all my tools and materials stuff that I need here. I'm going to show you something that is going to be an easy way with materials that you probably already have. Make sure you got some water. Water is important. Make sure you drink water. No matter what kind of water you drink, I drink alkaline water, but whatever kind of water you drink comes in a bottle. Shape and size of the bottles are different. They come in all different shapes and size bottles, obviously. But if you get a tall bottle like this, this is a tall kind of slender bottle. This is one liter. It's a tall slender bottle, right? So when you empty one of those bottles, this is what you have left, obviously. The label, don't worry about it. The only reason I have that on there and didn't take it off is because underneath the label is sticky and I don't feel like dealing with that right now. What I'll probably end up doing is just painting over these so they'll look like something else. But you have a bottle, you end up with an empty bottle, right? This can be your container to plant something in if you're starting from a seed. This is all you need to get started. You'll need to, of course, get a bigger pot and things like that as time goes on. But if you're just planting seeds, this is all you need to get started. How do you end up with this? What is this? This is that bottle cut in half. And then I did some things. So what I'm gonna do is show you how I ended up with this. And there's soil in there, as you can see. I haven't put a seed in there yet, but we can put a seed in there before we finish today. So, what do we do? Take the bottle, right? The bottle has a cap on it. Keep the cap. You're gonna want that if you're doing it the exact way that I'm doing it. There's a bunch of different variations you can do depending on what you're planning, how long you plan on leaving it in there, etc. But the way that I'm doing these, keep the cap on the bottle, take the bottle, right? So, I have a drill. I have a small bit on it. Uh, you can do the same thing using just like a nail, uh, a screw, something like that. But what I'm going to do is put holes in the cap. So. So I drilled some holes in the cap. The number is not really important. Just get as many in there as you can without making it one big hole, you know. And this is just for drainage. So you see, I got five holes in the cap. Perfect, right? Very simple. All we need is a container. 
So what am I gonna do next? I put why I put holes in the cap so it can drain. All right, well it's gonna drain. I need it to drain into something, right? So depending on the length of your bottle will determine really how where you want to cut this. You want to make sure that there's enough for this part of it to be down in your bottle and have you know room down below it. You know, and you want to have enough of your bottle up here to put your soil and, you know, stuff like that in. So I cut somewhere around the halfway mark. I use a razor knife to do it. Or at least to get it started. And then once I get it started with the razor, I have some sharp scissors. So now we have the two pieces, right? So we have our part that had the holes in it. We have the bottom part of the bottle, you know? So just stick one inside the other. That's simple. It's gonna to try to cave in on you a little bit, but that's not a big deal. You're gonna put stuff in here so it'll fill the space. Just stick one inside of the other. How far down you wanna go is up to you. Um, I'm leaving probably about an inch and a half to two inches down there. I don't expect a ton of water to drip through there, um, but I'm just leaving a little bit of room down there so water can drip through there. All right, so again, whenever I was talking to you throughout the week, I said that some things are optional. It just depends on what you're gonna be doing, where you're planting, how you plan on planting, right? So I suggested gravel as one of those optional things. I got some gravel here and i just bought a bag of it from a box store so just gonna put a little bit of gravel down in there so i just put a little bit of gravel down in there let me see if i can get to a clear spot all right right there so you see there's a little bit of gravel down in there and the purpose of that is so if i just put soil down there all the soil would start dripping through the holes and it would become a muddy mess down in the bottom but if I put the gravel there, it should hopefully keep most of the soil above the gravel, let the water drip through, and the water just drip down to the bottom. So just a little thin layer of gravel down there. Next is your soil. Get you some good soil. I use Daddy Pete's organic soil. Um, you can use, you know, miracle Grow or whatever you can find at your box store, but get you some good organic soil. Fill it however far you want to go i'm going probably leaving about an inch to three quarters a three quarters of an inch to an inch from the top basically is probably how tall i'm going on it i want to leave a little bit of room so whenever i water it um there's room you know for the water to sit so i'm probably going to leave about a half inch let's say at the top and there you have it that's simple you just take you whatever container you have this is just a plastic bottle that I'm going to turn these into planters because all I need to do is put a seed in here now, give it some water, and it's going to start growing like the stuff in the greenhouse, like the stuff that we've been showing you all week. And I'm going to show you again right here in a minute because it's come a whole lot farther. We planted this stuff last Saturday. We're one week from where we planted this stuff, and we have sprouts in just about every one of our containers. Back to these, though. You take these. If you have a greenhouse or some outdoor place where you can keep it covered, so there's not a frost and things like that, that's gonna get on it, perfect. That's what I have out here. That's where I'm gonna put mine. If you don't have that, put it on the windowsill where it can get some sun. That's all you need to do. You can take these, you can paint these before you put the soil and stuff in it. We're probably gonna go back and paint these. So it'll just look like a container, a plastic container. You can paint it a solid color. You can decorate it if you want. Put these things on your windowsill it just look like you have little planters on your windowsill and you'll actually have something growing out of it so this would be perfect if you want to grow some little herbs on your windowsill um if you want to grow actual vegetables and stuff like that this is a great starter container because all you need is something like this to start your seed to grow it so you have the stuff available to you more than likely you have water containers 
that's what I'm getting ready to do is make a bunch of these because we've been saving our water bottles for this exact reason. I have a whole bag of water bottles here that I'm getting ready to turn into these little planters so we can grow some more seeds. You have a lot of this stuff there. What, what do you do? You can recycle this stuff, you can reuse it. We're, it's all about reducing our waste, reusing things, and then recycling them if we can't use them. So I'm gonna reuse it. In this instance, I'm going to reuse it. It's better for me to reuse it than to send it to the recycling place because I'm gonna get some more use out of it, right? I'm turning it into another container that's gonna be used for longer because long as nothing happens with these, I can probably continue to grow little seedling starts in these. So reduce, reuse, recycle, right? I'm gonna stop at the reuse portion here and then later on, if I need to recycle this plastic, that's still an option. It just needs to be rinsed out, right? But I'm gonna reuse it for now. So take action. If you haven't taken your action yet, what are you waiting for? It's a beautiful day here in North Carolina. Not sure what the temperature is where you are, but it's beautiful here. I'm gonna make a couple more, let you, uh, you can hang out with me and see it. So I'll go through the steps again. Anybody who wants to just see the process again, you know, I'm gonna hang out with you for a second. Bottle. I'm gonna drill my holes first. As you see, I got more holes in that one. Just however you end up drilling it, you know, wherever you make that first hole kind of in the second hole really dictates how the rest of the pattern is going to go. So I got uh, seven holes in this one. I only got five in the previous one. So just happens like that. But the whole purpose is just to get some drainage. So it's no big deal either way. Next, cut it in half or approximately half wherever you decide, depending on the size of your bottle. Said. I start with the razor knife and then I switch to scissors. The scissors gives me a nice cleaner cut and I can cut in a straighter line with the scissors than with the razor knife since it's on a cylindrical object. Cut in half in two pieces. Take one. Let's see if I can do this where I can keep the clear spots together. Yep. Take one. Push it down inside the other. And again, how far down you go is up to you. It just really changes the height of your container. So as you see, the, these are two different heights. You know, one is taller than the other just because of how far down one is pushed than the other. So it's totally up to you. If you want yours all the same, then you need to get them all pushed down to the same height, essentially, or you can do stair step things or whatever. It's totally your choice. And you can always make this entire thing shorter by just cutting it at a different spot. And then how much room you have to push down, it changes it, you know, so it can make the entire thing shorter. It's up to you. Little bit of gravel. and our soil. There we have it. So there's another one. So all right, we got three of them made here. Go ahead and put a seed in them and then move them to the greenhouse so I can show you the greenhouse. So we'll put, uh, we'll go with some beets on these. How about that? I'm just gonna make a small hole in the soil. Doesn't need to be too deep. I'm just using my finger to make the hole in the soil. Just using my finger, making a hole in the soil. Reach in. Depending on what you're planting, you may determine how many seeds you wanna put in um, each hole. I'm just gonna try one in each hole on these and see what happens. 
see what kind of germination rate I get by just putting one in each hole. All right, so drop the seed in, cover it up. Give it a little water. You give it the water, all you gotta do is put it somewhere where it can get some sun. So on a ledge, something like that. As you can see, this one is already draining through. You see the water dripping down. So that's the reason why we put the holes in it because if the water goes all the way through, we want it to drain rather than becoming a mud puddle down in the bottom of our container. So let's take these to the greenhouse. All right, so in our greenhouse, we see that a week later from the date that we planted our seeds, we have sprouts growing in a lot of the places. So this is our broccoli. As you see, I remember I planted these in patterns of either a triangle or maybe even a square hitting the corners whenever I was planting. So, you know, maybe three, something like that, or maybe a square pattern, you know, so it just depends. I don't exactly remember. I was just planting them and trying to see how much I could get to germinate and how much I could get to sprout. So you see we have a few different places. Um, it may be a light lighting difference issue. You know, it could be different things. So I'll probably, the ones that have not sprouted yet, I'll probably move them around and just see if getting more light or different lighting may change, you know, how they're doing. But we're getting some growth, so no problems there. Moving down to our cauliflower, we're getting a lot of sprouts down here. Same situation as far as the planting pattern with the cauliflower. So looking good, we'll have to thin those out over here in a little bit of time, but getting good sprouts. We're moving over to the other side. You see we just brought in our new containers for our beets and I'll come back and label those so I know where everything is because I'll probably end up putting all of our containers like that down on the ground just in rows so I'll come back and label them our cabbage over here we're getting sprouts now in just about every container so doing good there moving up we got collards and mustards getting sprouts in all of our containers Moving over to the turnips. So again, one row, the seven top turnip is sprouting every container. The purple top white turnip is only sprouting in one container. So interesting situation going on there. I'm not sure what, but we'll keep forking at it and figure it out. And then moving up to the top, we have our Siberian kale sprouting in just about every container except for one. And over here we have some spinach and again sprouting in every container except for one so we're getting pretty good germination rates we're getting sprouts in just about everything that we've planted thus far we got our new stuff planted or we're going to continue planting our new stuff throughout the day why because we're taking action you got to just take the action we made the plan we did the preparation now we're doing the execution we are executing our plan we are taking the action we are getting this stuff done I'll knock this out here in probably an hour or less getting all of this stuff planted and then it's chill time for the rest of the afternoon and evening, good people. Hopefully you are taking advantage of this beautiful weather. Hear the leaves uh, blowing in the wind and hear them fall off the trees. Hopefully you're taking advantage of this beautiful weather, this beautiful time. It's a perfect time to get a lot of work done outdoors. Go out looking for some land if you don't have it already. Get something planted on that land. If you don't have the land, go ahead and do it right there in your apartment or wherever it is you're staying because there's not really many excuses. You got water bottle laying around, get you some soil, get you some uh, seeds, get something planted. Take care of yourself. Let's beat inflation together, good people. It's Iceberg. Salute.